Hi, this is Bethany with the Albany Peace Project. And first of all, we want to thank everyone who responded to our last post. Uh, we are looking forward to working with many of you in this upcoming year, and we appreciated all the well wishes as well. So thank you very much for all of that. Uh, this video is to invite you to a couple numinous programs that are very much related to the Albany Peace Project and inspired by an experience I was so fortunate to have in the month of February when I was able to go to Abajanya, Brazil, which is where John of God, um, an internationally known healer, uh, lives and works. For those of you who are unfamiliar with John of God, he is a healer that for over 50 years has been literally helping the blind see and the crippled walk. And he's most known for performing physical surgeries without any anesthesia and without any sterilized instruments. And he does it strictly through um, kind of opening up his heart and his mind to God's source, whatever you want to call it. And uh, if you want to know more about him, just Google John of God Surgery and on YouTube you will see many, many of his surgeries. But what was so fascinating about the experience was the fact that before John of God can go into these beautiful states to perform such service to humanity, um, he requires that there is at least a room of about 200 meditators. Um, and what they do is their job is to kind of go in and kind of charge up the space. Their job is to go in and go into a meditative space and hold what they call current. They're supposed to generate a current. And through that energy of the current, John of God is able to kind of ride those waves and he's able to go into this incredible, more open state of consciousness and perform these amazing healings and surgeries. And the first time I walked through the current room, I was just overwhelmed and I thought of everyone in the Albany Peace Project because what's happening is there are these meditators there and their job is twofold. One, to hold current, to generate the current for John of God to perform his amazing work. And in fact, when John of God feels as though he needs more, you know, juice, he, he calls for more meditators so that he can do more incredible work. Um, but as you walk into this room of meditators, their job is to hold the current, but also to send peaceful, loving intentions to the people walking in line on their way to go see John of God. Now, doesn't that sound familiar? Right? The Albany Peace Project. What are we doing? We're sending peaceful, loving intentions to the world around us. And so you can imagine as I walked into that first current room that first day and I saw a room full of meditators, one person who had her hand just like this, sending peaceful energy, loving thoughts to those of us in line, I was overwhelmed with emotion. I was overwhelmed with sweetness. And it was the feeling of just getting love beamed at me. And I was so grateful to be in a place of the world where all of the stuff that we're doing with the Albany Peace project is not only respected but required. It's required there. It's required that people sit in meditation and send peaceful loving intentions so that John of God can do his amazing work. Isn't that, doesn't that put the Albany Peace Project into greater perspective? Doesn't that show us about all, what are the miracles that we could perform if we held the people around us in loving high regard? And so we're, um, it made me come back and recognize that the, my work with Numinous and our work with the Albany Peace Project, how important it is for all of us to keep going, to keep working, to come together, because we can accomplish far more together than any of us could ever do alone. And so what I wanted to do was to invite you to two numinous programs that will really kind of uh, help you experience these truths on a much greater level. And the first one is going to be Thursday night, April 10th in Clifton Park. Uh, you can see more information on the Numinous online website. But what we're going to do is show a movie called Healing. It's an amazing movie. It won awards um, and it won an award and uh, it will show you about the life and work of this amazing man. And then I was fortunate enough to go with my buddy who you met in the last video, Gail Jensen, uh, to Brazil. And so what's going to happen after the movie is Gail and I are going to share our impressions, kind of our takeaways. What did we learn there by going to experience this kind of different dimension of 
reality and what have we brought back and, and what is it we could possibly share with you that will help you in your own walk and your own unfoldment of your spirit and your gifts and your mission um, that is so important to give here as well. So Gail and I will be talking about that. And along the same line, uh, we're going to start offering programs once a month at Numinous. And I'm so excited about this because it's the whole reason why I started the whole nonprofit a long time ago, um, is the fact that we're going to be doing the title of the programs are going to be called Music, Message, Miracles, and Healing Current. And so what we're going to be doing is Mark Shepard is going to be performing his wonderful, meditative, inspiring, contemplative uh, songs and music. And then we're also going to be singing some uh, chants or um, songs that will help us lift, uh, uplift our consciousness as well. Also, I'll be offering uh, hopefully a contemplative message that will really teach you how to skillfully point your mind in ways to help you experience the the, the divine, the, the connection to life and spirit all around us, but that we often don't feel because we're so myopic in our stress response and we so we kind of um, get so entranced with this world that we aren't really in that soft enough space to experience uh, the amazing life around us uh, in the kind of other dimensions. And so as we learn how to kind of reduce our rigidities, as we will learn how to um, allow ourselves to feel this larger intelligence that comes through us all, you know, that intelligence that beats your heart without you saying a word, that digests your um, food without you having any input, you know, that intelligence that's all within you that's helping you live right now? That when we learn how to reduce our rigidities and reduce our littleness and reduce that small thinking, we're able to feel that life force in, inside of us and how it's connected to everyone else. And so what we're going to do is after the message, uh, just sit in a healing current for probably about 30 minutes or so so that we can all kind of come together and create a larger charge. Also, we're going to be inviting people up if they're interested. They can get um, an energy treatment as well. So we're looking forward to this new programming. Certainly the, um, our trip to Brazil really made us so clear on why this work is so important and how to give people real tangible, practical you know, ways that we can, as I said in a letter writing home, palpate the impalpable and the peace that comes from that. So um, we'd love to see you at these events. Certainly we're going to be in touch with you soon more about some of the way that we're approaching the future. For those of you that are um, asking about Dr. Foldy, please uh, send him some uh, peaceful prayers. He is actually doing um, chemo and radiation, so he could use all the support you could beam at him. And, uh, well, I'm sure we'll be saying more about that as time goes on. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you all at one of these two events. So talk soon. Bye-bye.